Hi guys, it's Brett from Mean Charge Gaming, and today I'll be showing you the Swapper class in the Minecraft Gaming Annihilation. So this video will cover the pros and cons of the Swapper class, and give you tips and tricks in getting kills and winning your game. The Swapper class is for the players that want to give the enemies the old switcheroo, allowing you to run away or get a better killing advantage. The Swapper spawns with a wooden axe, pickaxe, sword, and a music disc entitled Swapper. This Swapper ability is where the class gets its power from. To use the Swapper, you have to be at around 16 blocks away from an enemy. Once right clicked, it will transport you to the enemy's position, and you to theirs. Sounds pretty trippy right, but it's actually a really good class. The ability means you can swap around your position with another, so it's kind of like a Scorpio transporter class all in one. Once swapped, the enemy gets slowness 2 for 3 seconds, which is good if you want to manoeuvre around the player or just to run away. There are so many things you can do with this class, some of the things include Swapping around with an enemy who has a higher advantage than you, i.e. a hill. If you swap with them, you can use the high ground and push them back down. The slowness that the enemy gets is great if you want to run away from the enemy, as it gives you a slight head start. You can swap around with someone who is an unreachable spot, like a place only the scout or assassin can get to, which allows you to conquer all areas. On swapping, it can confuse the enemy, as they have no idea where they are, meaning you can attack them from behind. However, unlike the Scorpio, it doesn't keep them in the same way they're facing. It faces them in the way you are looking at, I think which is a bad thing because they could be swinging a sword or aiming a bow and be swapped but still kill you because you'll be right in front of them. If you're really evil, you can just wait on the edge of the void and swap with someone then get a teammate to knock them off into the edge. It's a good class if you're in a group of teammates as you can stand around them and swap yourself with an enemy meaning they get put into a group of bloodthirsty teammates. When using the swapper ability, you have to be standing on the ground otherwise it won't work. This prevents you from jumping into the void and swapping with someone which, by the way, was the first thing me and Rob tried. The recharge on the ability is only 20 seconds, which is not really that long. The class is good if you want to lure someone out of a hiding spot and bring them into daylight. It's also good if you're attacking an enemy base and you just want to get inside. You can swap places with one of the guards on the wall, meaning you don't have to go through their entire defences. If you want to see more of the swapper class, then check out mine and Rob's playthrough, where you use the swapper's switching ability to own our enemies. Oh, there's loads of them. Bring one to me. Oh, I blew one up. Oh, that, that was that guy. Oh. Hurry up here, Brett. Oh, Pick that loot up and run. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, I, was my God. I was just bugging out all over the floor. <laughs> I'm gonna head up here with these guys. I got two stone if you get me a stick of them. Ah! Scorpio have me back down. There's a spy in that water there. Do you want me to go swap with them? I'll do it, you, you can kill him. He stays invisible. <laughs> now we can move on to the racing of the swapper. For useful, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. You can swap with an enemy to run away or just get a better fighting position. For killing, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. You can swap with someone to get a better fighting ground, but I'd say it's more of a moving class than killing. If you're working with a group, it can be really efficient. For fun, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It's pretty fun to play, as the enemy never expects it. For ease of use, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. All you do is right-click the swapper, but it's sometimes hard to get the player in range, and most of the time it confuses yourself rather than the enemy. For troll, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Replacing the enemy's position with yours is really trolly. They'll be like, where am I? And those defences are really going to be not useful anymore. Sorry, Merg. So the overall rating is, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It's really fun to play and it's great to sort the position with the enemy. I'd recommend getting this class for any Nexus rushers, as it can be used as an escape or a quick entrance. Thanks for watching guys, give us a like, give us a comment and give us a sub. Make sure you check out our other class videos and I'll see you guys next time.